What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. I just want to say happy Father's Day to all the black fathers out there. Happy Father's Day to the most present father in their children's life, the, the African father, the African American father, uh, to be more specific in, in, in America. Despite all the things that are talked about you, despite all the all the all the obstacles put in your way, I just want to congratulate congratulate and thank all the black fathers out there that's doing the damn thing, despite being discriminated against, despite being the most envied yet hated entity on the planet, despite being the most purposely oppressed individual on the planet, despite being the the man that everybody seems to think that is the is the point of of attack meaning they can attack you in order to make themselves feel better. You know, we are the most present parents in our children's lives. We are the most loving parents in our children's lives. We are great dads, we are great fathers, and we've been through a whole lot, 500 years. They brought us over here, we had to protect our families, we had to protect our children, you know, through insurmountable odds. We've come a very long way as African Americans in this country. And I just want to say I'm proud of what African Americans have done, despite all the propaganda that's out there that says we ain't shit. Despite some of our women who have been miseducated to believe that the very man has been protecting them for 500 years, the very man has been going to war for them for 500 years, the very man has put everything on their back so that our women can prance around and, and be able to be beautiful, dainty women like the rest of the women in society. Despite the fact that some of them have been miseducated or misled to believe that we ain't shit despite the contrary to the, the, the evidence to the contrary, I want to congratulate you. I also want to thank all the stepfathers out there whose society right now think it's cool to call you a simp because you have the you have the you have the gravitas, you have the capability, you have the you have the the, the standing to take care of a woman and somebody else's child. They like to shame you for that. They like to shame shame you for taking care of somebody else's child. They call you a simp. They like to shame you for taking good care of your wife, to giving her the ability to flex herself and be her own person in this life, to giving her the, 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 giving her the comforts that she needs and allowing her the flexibility to be a female and to be an emotional and be an emotional wreck and still be that cage, that rock that makes sure to fight wherever the woman go, that the rock, the husband, the, 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 the father is there as a rock, a solid, emotional, emotionally put together, impulse controlled individual who can handle such chaotic femininity. You understand? The, to be a black man and to have his counterpart, the black woman who's the most powerful, most beautiful, the strongest, most intelligent female energy on the planet, to have that, you must be the ultimate display of max, maximum masculinity. And I just have to say, I'm just happy that despite all the shit that's going on, African American men, black men in general, have been stepping up to the plate and going above and beyond above and beyond what it is that we actually have to do in this new age where we can we can definitely take less responsibility and look don't listen to all these stupid miserable incel weirdo feminine ass men that because they are not successful in their relationships because they made bad choices and picked bad women and because they have terrible acrimonious altercations with their baby mamas they come on the internet every day and make you feel bad or less than or think you a simp because you have a successful relationship because you take care of your child, because you are man enough to be able to take care of a village and not just think about yourself, because you're selfless, I want to thank you. Listen, as a, as a, as a married, I've been married for 15 years, all right? I have stepchildren, right? Some will call me a simp, right? So I commend, I commend all those fathers out there who are stepfathers, who have to deal with other men's sons. Listen, that's a whole nother conversation. But it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of gravitas to do something like that. Because the African way is every man is a father of their village. Every child, every child is your child. Every daughter is your daughter. And that's how, that's the African way. So if you're an African American and you just so happen to find somebody that you fell in love with and happen to make several bad choices, maybe, and have several chills by other piece of shit, baby daddies that don't want to take care of their responsibilities because you stepped up to the plate as an African as a community and you decided to take care of that woman and those children even though we know what comes with taking care of another we know the dynamics of that but because you did it anyway because you you you, you because of, because you're the responsible and you see the village as your children you see the children of the village of your, of your children I commend you because you are the real deal and don't let any non-married non 
non-participating father ever make you feel like you some sort of weak simp because you chose to do the responsible thing the only person that can judge a married person or a stepdad or a dad doing his damn thing is a grandfather that's so, so successful he raised children that was able to raise children if you have not raised a child that's responsible enough to raise another successful child you can't say nothing to a to a stepdad to a dad who's out here doing the damn thing despite how hard it is it's hard enough raising your own children it's even harder to raise somebody else's children because you're dealing with somebody else's dna somebody else's trauma somebody else's issues somebody else's lack of responsibility and you decided to step up to the plate so because it's popular and it's cool in the black community to call everybody who does anything nice for a woman a simp be a proud goddamn simp call me a simp i don't care because i'm more simply successful than you while all these other guys are out here crying and bitching and moaning and wondering why they can't get a woman because they act like females that's the reason why they can't get a female because real females want a real man not a crying ass bitch who comes on the internet and makes a career out of talking shit about women all day because they can't get one you know what i'm saying so anyway happy father's day to all the real dads out there happy father's day to the dads that's doing it because they got a piece of shit baby mamas that don't want to be mamas that don't that's jealous of their kids that's jealous of you and your relationship with your kids. Shout out to all the baby baby uh, the baby daddies out there that be taking care of their babies. And then you got a difficult baby mama that like to use the child against you. That like to use the system against you. And all you want to do is be a part of your child's life. But because you won't be a part of that woman's life, she takes it out on you. Shout out to you for trying anyway and not giving up. All right, because it's hard out here for a father. Underappreciated, but we do all this goddamn work. You know nobody cares about goddamn Father's Day. I'm in the parking lot. Do you see a bunch of goddamn pop-up shops uh, looking for selling roses and, and all sorts of things, you know, to hurry up so the woman can hurry up and get something for their husbands? Hell no. We all know that every gift that you get was paid for by you. All right? We know that. All right? We're highly unappreciated, right? But without us, the world would not go round. So yet again, this is Afro Think Tank giving a shout out to all the fathers out there, all the black fathers out there, all the African-American fathers out there doing the goddamn thing despite the world trying to put all this shit on our shoulders. Anyway, that's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn some teacher. I'm out.